Well, as I was saying, pepsin cuts the antibody molecule into two portions. Top portion, then the bottom portion. And another very important thing about IgG is that it's the only antibody molecule that contains MHC restriction, which will be shown on the next diagram. This is what MHC restriction looks like, starting from the FC gamma receptor going down. It contains four cells, but three are visible. I will explain how. There's a TC cell, a TH cell, two cells. The TC cell is expressed by CD8, which is a cell marker, which interacts with MHC class 1 and is expressed by nucleated cells. Then there is the TH cell. The TH cell is expressed by CD4, which is a cell marker and interacts with MAC class 2 which expresses APCs so this cell expresses both nucleated cells and APCs so that's why three cells are visible just to recap on what we were just explain this is the variable region. This is the constant region. These are the two heavy chains, two light chains. The hinge region, this is where pepsin acts. This is where papain acts. This portion is called FAB. This portion is called FC region. These are the disulfide bonds. Oh, CH2. This is a domain in which constant complement is attached in. Sorry, complement, complement attaches in. That's in IgG. But in IgM, since IgM has an extra domain, it attaches at CH3. Well, that was my whole explanation of the IgG structure and to whoever is going to be watching this first times are not always good as I said in the beginning this is and was my first time doing an online presentation so please try and be lenient thank you